Welcome to a video of Carry by AppScript.com. Now, in this video, I will be showing you the hotel booking module of Carry. Now, the hotel booking module has two components. Firstly, we have the travel desk, and secondly, we have the kiosk. Now, the travel desk is the application for the employee of the hotel who will generally sit near a reception and book taxis for guests of the hotel. And the kiosk is the application for hotels to simply put an iPad or a tablet at their reception so that guests can go and book their, ta their taxi themselves. Now, let me go through both the modules in this video. So as you can see on my landing page of Carry, I have an option uh, which says partner login at the bottom. When I click on partner login, I am taken to a login page where I will enter the credentials for both my kiosk and my travel desk to log into either uh, module in the app. So over here, I have my kiosk credentials, joekiosk at gmail.com. So I'm logging into the kiosk right now. So if a hotel wants to keep an iPad or a tablet at, the, at their reception as a kiosk, then they simply have to log into the application, keep it on this page so that guests can come and book, book a ride for themselves. Now let's go through the workflow of the guest when he comes to book a ride. Firstly, the guest will enter his name. Secondly, the guest enters his phone number and his room number. After this, you select book and you can see all the vehicles that are online at this point. And as you can see, there is a prime vehicle online, which is my own driver application, which is right next to me. You have the option to either pre-book a ride for a certain time or date, or you have the option to do an on-demand booking right now. So if I do an on-demand booking, I have the option to enter my drop-off location, or I can even search for it on a map. So once I enter my drop-off location, I can see that uh, the option of payment is cash. That is because since there is no one managing the kiosk, the guest of the hotel will obviously have to make the payment in cash to the driver. The guest can choose his driver uh, from a list of preferences, such as extra baggage and so on. And the guest can choose the number of seats that he needs. and the guest can confirm his booking. So as soon as I've confirmed it, I, my driver application has got the booking. And uh, as soon as I accept it from a driver application, the searching finding drivers nearby will disappear and we will go back to the home page. There we go. I've accepted the booking from my driver application and now the driver is on his way to the hotel and uh, the next guest can come and book his ride on the same application. And in the kiosk sec section, if you click on the menu, you have the option to view your profile. And over here you see your hotel name and so on. Then uh, you have the option to see the rate card where you can see the rates of different vehicles for different cities. If you want to see the rates of a vehicle for Lagos, here we go. Then you have your support page where you can uh, enter your support text from the admin and view it over here. And then you have your about page, which takes you to the links of the application on uh, Facebook and so on. So that completes the kiosk module of uh, carry in the hotel booking uh, module. So let's go, let's check out the travel desk now. So there we go, I've logged out of my kiosk uh, login and I enter my travel desk credentials. So when I log into the travel desk part of the hotel module, I can see that I have a lot more items on my menu and that is because there is actually a person who is sitting behind the travel desk booking rides for uh, guests of the hotel. So the employee of the hotel has access to his uh, My Bookings page, which is the list of all the bookings that he has done. And uh, in this case, no bookings are there. 
and the uh, employees has, has access to his favorite drivers and he also has access to a wallet now the travel desk employee can make a booking for the guest uh, either with his wallet or with his own card or with cash in which case the guest will pay it straight to the driver now if the travel desk employee does the booking by his wallet the guest will pay him that amount in cash uh, or card and the same goes for a card booking if the travel desk employee does a card booking then the guest will give that amount to the employee in cash or card the travel desk employee can see the rates of various vehicles in various cities and uh, we have access to a support page and an about page invite page and live chat and so on so the invite page allows the travel desk employee to invite others to the app and the live chat is a uh, portal which allows the employee to have live support with the application and let's say the employee wants to book a ride for a guest of the hotel he enters the guest name over here enters the guest phone number and enters the room number after that the booking flow will be the same wherein uh, the employee will be able to book a uh, book a ride for the guest and uh, i've just made my driver online which is why you see that prime is now available for your uh, book now which is on demand booking and since we've already seen the on demand flow and it doesn't change in this part let me go through the pre book section let's say i want to book a trip for 10:50 p.m. tonight i set my pickup time i enter my drop off address i can choose it from a map as well and i get my total fare i can see a breakdown of my fare over here and uh, over here as you can see the travel desk employee has the option to pay using cash card or wallet if he pays using its wallet he can choose to pay the balance amount through card or cash and uh, the app supports stripe so the employee can add a card over here what i'm adding is stripe's desk card so now the hotel employee has a card added as well there we go so now if the hotel employee chooses to pay with his wallet uh then the excess will will have to be paid either by cash or by card so you can pick that as well and as you can see there's an advance booking fee that is applied since it's a pre book and we confirm the booking so as you can see the request is now confirmed and the app takes the travel desk employee back to the home page so that completes the second flow of the application so we have seen the uh, kiosk module as well as the travel desk module and uh, in either case a hotel can uh, make their guests experience of booking a taxi a lot easier than the manual way so i will now log out of my application and there we go i'm back on the carry home page thank you for watching and we'll be back with more vid videos shortly